All right, over here at hive number four, as you saw, I just removed the deep that was sitting on top of the uh, telescoping cover. Uh, earlier this week, decided to remove the second deep that was acting as a honey super. Uh, there's a separate video all about why I did it and a 24 hour follow up just to see how the bees were robbing them out. Long story short, added them uh, over a month ago easily, maybe even a month and a half ago. And considering some of these colonies swarmed, takes them about six weeks to get queen right again, produce enough bees, field bees start going out and recollecting food. Uh, just too much time had passed and there was just too much space available for the colonies. So this past week decided to remove them, reduce them down to a single brood chamber and one shallow or medium super. So again, this is just a weekly inspection. It's Monday, May 18th. Weather's not the best, but trying to get this done in between uh, in between rain bands really. We received about five inches of rain last night and this bee yard is proven to be a pretty good location because not too much standing water is formed at all. So enough me yapping, let's get into hive number four here, see how they're looking for this week. Just do a quick peek into the uh, honey super. More so just wanna see how the queen is laying and if she needs some more space or not. So, we shall see. Uh, slime over just a tad. All right, quick peek into the super. And not really doing much. Not really doing much of anything. And I added, I added a tenth frame about a week or so ago when I acquired some new frames from a, from my buddy. But it doesn't really look like they are working the super as much as they should be this time of year. But like I said, quite a few of my hives swarmed at the worst time possible, so what can you do, I guess? And if I remember right, yeah, so this hive being on the right side of the bee yard gets all the afternoon and evening sun as it fades into the western part of the sky. So the opposite effect of all the other colonies, which the queens favor the left side of the box. I count from right to left, so one through 10. So for this colony, the queen favors the right side of the box and I found her I think last week on frame number two so it's kind of the opposite or it is the opposite of all the other colonies so the left side as I move quickly through here the left side doesn't have much going on let me pull this one eh, it's a weird looking cone yeah, the left side doesn't have much going on, but here we are, one, two, three, four, five, dead center of the colony, and huh, that's concerning. Check that out right there. Let me switch my hive tool to my other hand so I can point to you. But what I say is concerning is this here. You can see some uncapped, uncapped brood. So it was capped, because you can see a developing bee in there, but the bees decided to uncap it for some reason. And there's quite a few on this side as well. And some of those reasons from what I've read and other folks that have commented on previous posts, this isn't anything new to me. It might have to do with your mite count. And I'm just checking around huh. that is strange 
So now I'm checking the wings, something I don't typically do that often. And I don't see anything that looks like deformed wings. But something's going on with this colony because there's quite there's quite a few cells with uncapped brood. Alright, let's move through the rest of it, see what see what the rest of the colony has to has going on. Same thing on this frame. There's a few more there's a few more cells opened up. They're not just based on that, they're not looking too good. Probably said this before, that's a nice frame for the queen to lay in, if she ever decides to do so. Not one egg on this side, or that side. Quite a few open cells on this side as well, and no real sign of uh, any eggs or capped fruit or anything. So this colony might really be down to like two frames of anything that you would consider to be decent brood. I'm looking at pupated larva, and I think I see some eggs, but considering I'm on the last two frames, I really want to find the queen, cage her, and then, hmm, hold on, let me finish up, let me continue to look for the queen real fast on this, this side of the frame before I show you this. But yeah, check that out, there's a whole bunch more of uncapped brood so there's something going on with this with this colony it's strange to me all right last frame you would think you'd just be able to find the queen on here but sometimes she just moves around pretty fast Or she's on the inside of the box, and then at that point you're really not gonna, just not gonna find her. I might move back through the last few frames, considering this hive does not have a lot of frames of bees, so it's not much to go back through and double check. Let me look at this side one more time. I believe I found her last week, if my memory serves me right. I think she was on frame number two. But I'm looking at a ton of pupated larva. Probably some eggs next to it. Yeah. Pupated larva, eggs throughout. Yeah, this is a. I'm really not sure what to make of this colony with how some of the. I'm gonna try and dig one out. I don't have a toothpick or anything to see if it's ropey brood. I believe that's the right term. But there's just some weird. Alright, let me see if I can find her on the previous frame. puzzled me for the better part of this year already. They were doing extremely well coming out of winter. Big build up. I thought they were going to be one of my better honey producers this year. 
and it seems like they've just been plagued with one thing after another. It took them a very long time to get queen right. And then once I determined they were queen right, I thought things were kind of moving in the right direction, but looking at what I'm looking at now, it seems like they might have something going on with their health. Hmm. Well, I can do two things, and one of them is being nothing. I can box them back up, check on them in another week, see if things have changed. I really don't want to find the queen and squisher and move a frame of eggs from another colony just because it takes so damn long for them to get going again. All right. Let me tear out another one of these bees. That looks like it died in the cell, which is just strange. Hmm. Let's take a look at this frame as well. that they're uncapping. I don't see any mite on that. And it wasn't ropey, it didn't like pull out like a string. Who knows? Gonna give them some smoke real quick and just recheck the first two frames again because if anything that's where the queen will be is my gut feeling I mean this frame's looking good this frame has a decent amount of eggs pupated larva small patch of capped larva, but also a decent amount of uncapped, or yeah, capped larva that the bees have uncapped. And that could also be a starvation thing. Like if they're not bringing, bringing in enough food, they will start to cannibalize capped brood. So now that I thought of that, that's also a, that's also a possibility really. So considering they're not going to make any honey this year, maybe it's not a bad idea to feed them. About to wrap it up, just checking this frame for some bees because it has the most concentration of bees here. Maybe the queen is somewhere in there. Don't see her though. Hmm. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes I find the queen so easy and then Times like this, it's next to impossible. Well, they do have eggs, so. I didn't find any swarm cells, so there's really no reason to find the queen for those two reasons right there. If you find eggs, that's great. If you don't find any swarm cells, you can 
pretty much wrap it up. But those two to three-ish frames that do have some brood definitely doesn't look that great in comparison to other hives and what it should look like. The bees shouldn't be uncapping brood for any other reasons than starvation, I believe meaning they just don't have enough food stored or the field bees aren't bringing in enough food or there's some kind of virus going on and that's their way of uh, fixing their situation. Let me double check the super real quick. I don't think there's really any drawn comb to speak of in here. So if that's the case, they don't need to be wasting their space and energy messing with it. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna remove it. Yeah, there's like one or two frames of drawn. One or two frames like this, but there's no food in here. So I'm just gonna remove it. They just need they need they need time to get healthy before. Before worrying about packing food into a super. All right, well, that's just how things go sometimes. And boom. No super for you. All right, a little longer of an inspection, spent a decent amount of time uh, kind of assessing a few frames that had some pretty unhealthy looking brood as you saw and looking for the queen more so out of curiosity but there's enough signs that they are quite right uh, mainly on a frame or two plenty of eggs pupated larva so on and so forth so that's it for this week for hive number four not looking that great remove the super as you can see so i'm not really concerned with them producing any honey this year so we'll just check on them next week like usual until july and then i'll shift gears and start conducting bi-weekly inspections so twice a month until the fall slash winter and then at that point you know there's really nothing to do all right so that's it coles farm jacksonville north carolina check us out on instagram and facebook if you haven't you can find us by searching coles farm nc for north carolina and if you haven't subscribed i'd appreciate it if you did and again if you hit the bell you'll receive notifications of future videos let's take a look at the front entrance Pretty typical for post inspection. It's usually what the front entrances look like. So that does it for this week. Check us out next week, like I said, for another weekly inspection of hive number four.